Imagine you are scrolling through a CT scan of the abdomen. On the right side, everything looks perfectly normal. But when you look at the left side, the renal fossa is completely empty. There is no kidney at all. So, is this renal agenesis or did the patient lose a kidney? Well, the real answer is heading deeper. And this is where radiology makes the story interesting. Welcome back to radiology learning. In today's video, let's discuss CCT KB together and solve this case. So, let's start with axial sections of CCT KB. Alright, starting in the upper abdomen, here on the right side is the liver and on the left side you can see the spleen. As we scroll further down, the right kidney comes into view. It's exactly where it should be, in the retroperitoneum just beside the sauce muscle. The outline is normal, the shape is reniform and the cortex and the medulla enhance nicely after contrast. So the right kidney is completely fine. Now let's shift our focus on the left side. At this level, we normally expect to see the left kidney in the lumbar region. But notice here, the left kidney fossa is empty. There is no kidney in the usual place. At this point, one might think the left kidney is absent. But in radiology, we don't stop here. We always scroll further. And as we go down into the pelvis, here we find it. Just above the urinary bladder, there is a kidney shaped structure enhancing with contrast with the helium directed anteriorly. So this is the left kidney. But instead of being in the lumbar region, it's sitting in the pelvis. That's an ectopic pelvis kidney. And because the helium paces forward, it is also mal rotated. Now let's look at the coronal reconstruction. This view gives us a better appreciation of anatomical position. Here on the right side, you can see the kidney sitting in the normal lumbar position, extending vertically alongside the source muscle. It looks exactly in the right position. When you look at left, we can notice something is missing. The renal fossa is empty. As we follow down, we can clearly see the left kidney sitting much lower just above the bladder. This view really highlights the abnormality. You can appreciate not only the lower position, but also malrotation. See how the helium is pacing forward instead of medially. The coronal section is especially useful here because it shows the entire shift in one glance. A normal kidney high up on the right and the ectopic kidney lying low in the pelvis. And that contrast makes the finding very obvious. Ok next let's switch to sagittal view. Here you can clearly appreciate the spine running along the back and the urinary bladder sitting in the pelvis. Now look closely just above the bladder. You can see this reniform structure enhancing well after contrast. That is the left kidney. Normally, the kidney should be positioned much higher up in the lumbar region. But in this case, it has failed to ascend and lying down in the pelvis. And notice how the helium is pacing forward instead of medially. That tells us the kidney is not only ectopic but also malrotated. This sagittal plane is especially helpful because it shows the relationship very clearly. The kidney is resting just behind the bladder and in front of the sacrum. So with a single slice, you get the exact location and orientation. Ok, here we are looking at the delayed pace of contrast enhanced CT. By this time, the contrast has already passed through kidneys and is collected in the pelvic calcium system, ureters and urinary bladder. Here you can see an ectopic pelvis kidney. Even though it is not in the usual lumbar position, the kidney is functioning because the contrast is visible within its collecting system and ureter. The urinary bladder is also well opacified with contrast in this space, which confirms that both excretion and drainage pathways are intact. This space is very useful to evaluate renal function, ureteric course and bladder pilling. And that brings us to the end of the case. We have seen how the left kidney is not absent but sitting low down in the pelvis. And on the delayed pace, we confirmed it's working. So if you don't see a kidney in its normal place, don't stop there. Always scroll, always check the pelvis. That's it for today's scan review. In the next video, we will look at another interesting case. So make sure you don't miss it. See you in the next video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.